Okay, so this is actually going to be kind of a different video from what I usually make. Um, I'm going to be actually revisiting the adventure update. Uh, of course, this update came out in 2011. And, you know, amongst people who play older Minecraft versions, beta and alpha, it's kind of considered a negative. I mean, it changed the trajectory of the game hugely. And a lot of people say not in entirely positive ways. Now, I do play a lot of beta Minecraft. It's basically the main version I've been playing, of course, for over a year now. But I didn't actually grow up with it. I started playing Minecraft right when the adventure update came out, uh, official release 1.0. So this is really, you know, the kind of Minecraft that I knew for a long, long time. Now that I have the perspective of the, you know, so-called golden age Minecraft, of the beta Minecraft community, I thought it'd be really interesting to kind of revisit this version. So I'm coming back today and I'm going to play through it, try to find as many of the newer features as I can, and I'm going to give my opinion on whether they improve the game or make it worse. And that's basically what this video is. Hope you enjoy. Okay, yeah, here we are in uh, 1.0. Uh, I'm actually going to start a new survival world uh, in a post-beta version, which I haven't done in a long, long time. Um, of course, first thing we notice is the new the new screen. I kind of like the dirt background, but this this screen's kind of iconic too. Um, so let's go ahead and make a new survival world. What should I call this? Cool. Now oh, that's so lame. This Dialco Delaco. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, and yeah, we have more world options. Oh, this doesn't... Yeah, this is actually new, isn't it? Yeah, we don't have this in beta, huh? We can put the, the seed world in, but we can't generate structures. Uh, we can't toggle this, I don't think. And we have this button here that we can't press yet. Uh, which we will get later in later versions. But in this version, they didn't have it yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and make the world. And... You know, this version gets shit on a lot by like golden age minecraft people uh you know they say like all oh, this adventure update ruined minecraft i mean they have a whole mod called better than adventure about not playing the adventure update and uh i will admit it uh well i mean look at this swamp here this version definitely has its uh it's 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 bad points but i am you will find i am surprisingly uh positive towards this version this is the first version i really played once i got the game um, i started when this when 1.0 had just come out and the first thing you're going to notice is the new generation the new generation which is probably the the number one reason i don't play on this version is the the aesthetic in the world is just totally different and kind of ruined in a lot of ways let's see if we can climb this tree now Vines work weird in this version, uh, but yeah, hey, vines, that's one of the new blocks here, yay! Yeah, I mean, just, just think about the colorful, you know, playful, imaginative landscapes of beta, and then you just... Look at this. It's a swamp. It's really, really ugly. I don't know why they did this. I guess they wanted to go more natural, but... I mean, yeah, they just made the game a lot uglier, in my opinion. Um, and I don't like that, so I don't like playing this version. However, there's one thing kind of nice about the terrain generation here. And it's that in this version, the biomes and the landscape is, is not afraid to be big. Uh, the biomes are very big and in beta you, you the biomes tend to be kind of smallish and they tend to be hilly too You get a lot of hills um, Which is nice. I love the beta hills, but I wish you did get a lot more of these huge expansive flatlands uh, Because I think those are cool too. Sometimes you want a flatland. Sometimes you don't want the the crazy cool hills Because uh, these flatlands are pretty cool and uh, speaking of hills, it looks like there's an extreme hills biome over there. 
yeah, uh, most of the land in this version is flat and, and boring, which is, it's a blessing and a curse. You know, like I said, the expansive flat land is kind of cool. It's also kind of boring. Uh, but you do have the extreme hills biome, which gets some pretty interesting terrain. The problem with it is it's also boring. They somehow managed to make these extreme hills boring because the biome itself has these desaturated, like blue gray colors. Which is another thing, like I was saying, they, for some reason they tried to go more like naturalistic. But I like the bright colors of beta. And, I mean, here you have like forests, maybe plains. Like plains and forests are like the brightest colored ones, and they're still duller than most of beta. And then you get to these hills, and it's just like dull blue. And like one tree <laughs> for every 10,000 blocks. Uh... So yeah. Speaking of trees, I should probably find one right now because uh, I forgot the first rule of Minecraft is you need to you need to punch trees. Looks like we have a nice forest biome over here coming up. It does look kind of cool in the distance. Here's an interesting thing. It looks like the the beta style fog is still here. Because the fog in beta uh, looks really cool. It's, it, it starts pretty pretty close. Um, but in modern versions, I, I don't know when it changed, but it started looking uh, a lot different. The fog became a lot shorter. So here we did we uh, did find this this nice little forest. Um, forests are probably, in my opinion, the best looking biome in this version. Uh, and that probably has to do with the fact that they are the closest looking to beta terrain. Uh, but you will notice it's very kind of flat. Uh, boring-ish. Like I said, everything's flat. Well, I make this sword right here. And go ahead and talk about one of the other big, big gripes with uh, with the adventure update, which is that little hunger bar uh, right above my hot bar. Hunger is uh, it's kind of weird. I mean, I played with hunger for most of my like time playing Minecraft, right? I mean, it started in this version, so obviously I know this system very well. Oh, and we just got experience. That's another feature. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, hunger is a uh, I actually think it's kind of an interesting mechanic, if not a weird one. I mean, if I was playing beta Minecraft, I would not think, oh, they need a hunger mechanic. <laughs> but I guess they wanted it so that you can sprint forever, because you do lose hunger when you sprint. And it's interesting in theory, but I mean, now that I've been playing beta, it's just, it just kind of feels annoying. It, it feels like something that I, I'm constantly having to, like, worry about, right? Like, I can't just move around. I can't swim and jump and just walk around at my leisure. I have to worry about, oh, my food bar is slowly ticking down. It's a bit weird, in my opinion. Speaking of hunger, one weird thing that people bring up about beta... I hear people say that, like, oh, back in beta Minecraft, the game was more survival focused. But, like, I don't, I don't see that. So, I don't know. You tell me why you think that or why people say that. Because, if anything, I think the hunger bar, like, adds to the survival aspect. I don't know what's been taken away that detracts from it. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't get that whole, like, beta was more survival focused thing. Ooh, got some iron in here. Let's make some torches. Oh, maybe now I can talk about the new lighting. So yeah, look at that orangish light. Uh, the sunlight is still... Well, what's left of the sunlight? Sunlight I still is, I think, still like basically the same from beta. But... Artificial lighting from torches and stuff is now like this orangish color. 
and uh, honestly, it's kind of cool. I, I kind of actually like it. Uh, people talk about how much they like the lighting in beta, uh, and I do understand that. It does have a lot of charm, but I don't think this lighting is that bad. I think it's kind of interesting. A bit cozy looking. Look at this. <laughs> I can stack my food now. I don't have to sit here at the furnace clicking everyone. Uh, yeah, the unstackable food is kind of just a necessity of the way health worked in beta, so I don't I don't hold that against beta, honestly. I'll light this place up. Oh. Ah. Oh, new hurt sounds. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, no more Steve voice. That kind of sucks. Oh well. New era. Ooh, got an arrow. Okay, check this out. New bows. Oh, <laughs> didn't do anything. Yeah. Okay, I ran out of arrows, but yeah, the bows aren't machine guns anymore. The machine gun bows are really fun. Um, but I don't know. These ones are kind of fun too. They shoot farther, and it, it is kind of satisfying feeling to draw it back and aim it and, and uh, fire it like that. So I don't know. I think both bows have their merits. Okay, for our first... Uh, day and night. I think that was pretty productive. Uh, we got a lot of iron, and uh, I felt uh, I felt confident enough to make a, a an iron chest plate at least. Because in this version, armor is a little bit better. A little bit better. It does not. Uh, the protection does not degrade when the armor durability degrades. And also, you can repair armor. Those are two things that make armor quite a bit better in this version, in my opinion. But I figure we'll explore around a little bit more. See uh, what the terrain has to offer, our new terrain. Maybe we can find uh, some of the different biomes here. Maybe like a desert and a taiga and stuff to uh, compare it to beta. And maybe we can find an ocean too. Because uh, that would be something interesting to talk about. Say we have some more hills here. Here's the thing. Adventure update terrain is... Like I said, it has some ups and downs. A lot of downs. And uh, one of them is it's just not as fun to explore. Beta terrain, if I find a cool mountain, it's just fun to walk around it. it just really is, but... I don't know. This isn't always the most fun to just walk through. And explore and see what you get. It feels a little less random too. A lot of people have said this before, but it's kind of like, once you've seen every biome, you've seen the entire world, basically. Here's a, a new river, though. I don't know if Beta has rivers. Uh, but yeah, these were added in this version. They're kind of interesting. Uh, I don't mind them. Kind of cool, though. Get down here. Is this clay? It is clay. <laughs> Probably don't need any clay right now. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool. As this song plays. This version is nostalgic for me. I mean, look, I never, uh, oh, a desert. I, before, like last year, I never played beta 1.7.3. Uh, I grew up with the adventure update and uh, these sort of versions, so there is a nostalgia here, and that's probably why I'm I'm so open to being, you know, pointing out the positive side of this version. But uh, yeah, I'll try to be fair. I'll try to be fair. When it's good, it, I'll say it's good. When it's bad, I'll say it's bad. Oh, look at this. We found an ocean over here. Yeah, 
We've definitely reached the edge of the continent. Now, the, the generation in this version is really interesting. Um, in beta, it's more just like a whole landmass with some lakes. And in this version, it was like continents with entire oceans. And then, I don't know, maybe in 1.8 or 1.7, it changed back to like the big landmass with lakes interspersed. But yeah, for, for a good handful of versions here, it was this sort of continent generation where you'd have land masses, yeah, but most of the world was ocean. These vast oceans. I mean, actual oceans, not just big lakes. Oceans that connected, you know, all of these continents. And they were big. <laughs> They were very, very big, and that is one of the gripes that people have against them, is that they are way too effing big. Because you can sail on this in your crappy little, you know, your crappy little boats that, that glitch around and break and are slow. And you could sail for, you know, minutes, uh, blocks and blocks and blocks, and not find any other land, any new continents. So that's a downside. I, though... I will say, I do actually really like the feeling of standing on the edge of an actual ocean. Um, I spent a lot of time to look for my, uh, the spot for my castle town, to look for like a large body of water, because I like the feeling of a vast body of water where I can go almost anywhere, you know, by taking a boat. And, you know, at the least, this provides that. Now here's an interesting thing. In beta, the biomes have a sort of like temperature and uh, like humidity or moisture map. So you get deserts next to like other dry biomes. You don't get deserts next to next to sandy biomes. But for whatever reason, they decided to stop doing that in the adventure update. They added it back in later. You know, in modern Minecraft, it has like the temperature map now, the climate map or whatever. But yeah, in this version, for whatever reason, they don't have it. So that's something that people used to make fun of, is like you can find, oh, you know, a snowy place right next to a desert. Uh, just one of the weird quirks of the adventure update. You know, it's something funny I just noticed. I've barely been sprinting. Uh, and that's one of the new features here. Out oh, one block of water still doesn't. Still doesn't save you. But yeah, I just uh, was looking back at some of the footage I just recorded and I was like, oh, I'm walking. Because of course I'm walking. Because I've been playing beta for like over a year now. And I'm just not used to sprinting anymore. But yeah, that's a new thing. Ooh, we're gonna need this. Oh yeah, we're gonna need this. You probably know why. Sugarcane actually has a pretty important function in this version. But yeah, I'm going to try to get some stuff and then uh, settle down, finally. I've been moving around a little while. I would love a pool. But uh, yeah, I think I want to make a little, a nice little cabin on the plains. Because to me, the plains is like the, you know, release, the adventure update sort of biome. To me, it is, at least. Hey, look at this. Yep. It's our new cave type, the ravine. Fairly shallow one. They do get pretty big and cool. But yeah, uh, sometimes they spawn on the surface. And uh, that's another kind of famous thing that was added in this version, I'd say, is ravines. Everyone knows ravines. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of famous stuff added in this version, of course. Let's get some of this iron here. I will say I like caving. If you've watched some of my videos, you probably know that. I really like... Oh. <laughs> I really like caving. And... Uh, this update adds quite a bit to caving. I think it makes it quite neat. I mean, it adds ravines for one thing, which are pretty cool. And uh, they're dangerous, too. It, it, it's a new, like, th thing that you have to... Instead of just the normal caves, you gotta learn how to tackle these ravines. You can't come at them with the uh, exact same strategies as you would a normal cave. 
And that's just one of the things. The other thing is that I really like is actually abandoned mine shafts. And I hope we'll see one so I get to talk about it. Some people don't like them, I've heard, but I don't know. I, I think they fit the Minecraft vibe very well. And uh, I'll talk about that. There is one structure added in this version that I am not a huge fan of. Hopefully we'll find one of those too. Okay, so it's, uh, it's nighttime. Currently, uh, oh shit. Alright, so I've found a spot I think I want to build here. It's this very nice plains area. It's in between the, the woods over here, and you can see some mountains over here. And uh, yeah, I think right about here. I already made this little crappy uh, uh, survival hut and a little mine thing. But uh, yeah, I think I'll just tear this down and I'll, I'll make a house right here. Oh shit, okay. It's actually- oh my god. <laughs> I was about to say, uh... This is the first time I've seen an Enderman. So yeah, new- the new mob added. Um... And I think they are just as easy to cheese in this version. Which is good for me. Oh shit. Oh my god, what the f- I did not know they could do that. I need that pearl. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's been a long time since I fought an Enderman. Wow. It's it's funny, because I always think of them as like a, a classic iconic mob, but they're just... They were only added in this version, so they're just not a part of beta at all. Um, so that was an interesting thing for me to find out when I first started playing beta. All right, I'm going to try to get that pearl, and then I'm going to continue building my house, and I'll see you later. All right, so the house is done. Um, it's not really my usual style. and It's not the same house that I build all the time. Uh, this time I actually wanted to sort of, since I'm in the adventure update now, since I'm in 1.0, I wanted to pay homage to the villages. So it's actually, if you might be able to tell, I kind of built it in the style of a village house. Uh, there's not one that looks exactly like this, but I just kind of built it in the same style. So yeah, it's very simple, but it's it very much uh, matches this era. Uh, let's go ahead and head inside. There's a little little sort of yard here where I'm just growing some, some wheat. We're going to need wheat for breeding. We'll get to that later. But uh, yeah, it's pretty simple, very cozy. Um, some new blocks. I'm trying to use some new blocks uh, wherever I can. Got some glass panes here. Now glass panes are are interesting because if you remember before this update or uh, I guess before the adventure update, all you had was glass blocks. And um, you know, I used to like glass panes quite a bit, but uh, when I went back to beta, it's interesting. I, I got used to glass blocks and I like how solid a glass block is. Like, it, I don't, this is hard to explain, but I like when blocks are very solid and chunky because it feels like it fits Minecraft. The way that glass panes are thin, it feels very sort of modish to me. And I don't like blocks that are like thin or they're not, they're not a full block. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, over here, we have the stone bricks for this fireplace thingy right here. Um... Yeah, stone bricks. They're uh, they're pretty cool. I missed them a lot when I went back to beta, uh, and then I just kind of got used to their absence. But yeah, they're they're great. Not really much to say, um, other than they're good. Uh, oh, we got the new chests. The new chests, which are not no longer just just a full block uh, with some some texturing. They actually have like a whole model with a little lock 
on the side and they have their own sound. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Again, it feels a bit weird, probably just because I'm used to beta, but the fact that they're like not a full block, it feels a bit like a mod now. Um, so that's strange. Let me know what you think about that and like what you think about glass panes. Because I feel like in modern Minecraft, there's there's too many blocks that are just, just not a full block and it just looks off and doesn't fit with everything else. That's kind of a whole separate side rant that maybe I'll get into one day, but um, yeah, let me know how you feel. And then of course I added some vines here, another new block. Um, I feel that they're just very, very iconic to this, you know, this version, this era of the game. Everyone was kind of putting vines on everything. Uh, and they're, they're kind of cool. Uh, again, it's that thing where it's like, it's just this flimsy looking weird thing that's like half, half a block, but I guess it's ladders are the same way. But uh, yeah, they're okay. I actually just prefer using like leaf blocks if I want to do like vines or ivy or something. But they're pretty cool and they're kind of adventurous because you can climb them. So I like that aspect of it. Hey, it's future Dialco here. Uh, I was just messing around outside my house. And I just realized you cannot climb vines in this version. Uh, I don't even remember when they added that, but yeah, you can't climb them. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a weird thing that I just like misremembered. It's another sort of Mandela effect thing. Uh, yeah, so I was wrong. You cannot climb them in this version. It's not in the game yet. But yeah, now that I have an actual house, uh, I'm going to start like gathering resources i'm gonna start getting ready to uh dive into dive into the more the more weird and and uh interesting mechanics of this version we're gonna start looking at you know all the magic stuff all the crazy stuff breeding enchantment uh the new nether stuff so i, I want to try to dive right into that now Right. All right. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try breeding some animals for the first time in forever. Um, just gotta get some piggies. I haven't done this in such a long time. It's crazy. But uh, oh, there's so many over here. You know what? Let's just try to get them all. Um, yeah. So breeding, of course, is added in this version. Uh, before this, uh, you couldn't breed animals, but the animals spawned like continuously. Like, you just kept getting them. Um, and yeah, it's... They're both different. Jesus, I have a lot now. <laughs> they're both kind of different, but... Um, I, I think they both kind of have their merits. So, I actually like breeding animals. I think it's kind of fun, because you have to like make a little, a little pen for them. You can get creative with your farm. And uh, it's kind of nice to have some little, little, little friends... Uh, so I don't think it's that bad. But I also do actually really like the way Beta handles it. Oh god, this is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> oh no, they're doing- they're doing alright. Okay, hold on. Getting some of them in here. Uh, oh boy. You guys. Yeah, I- I think Beta's interesting because it's almost like- This is gonna sound weird, but it's almost like an RPG quest you know how like in world of warcraft or whatever there will be guys that are like bring me 15 boar skins and that's like that's what animals are like in beta because okay i need a bigger pen uh, <laughs> because um in beta you have to go you basically just like leave your house and you have to go into the wilderness and just hunt for animals right and it's actually kind of fun because you just like get to walk around i guess it could get tiring after a while but i actually think it's kind of fun it feels like a little side quest you do just like walk around and, and collect materials and kind of grind but in a good way a good kind of grind so uh yeah it's it's different but i like both honestly i like both let's try to get some more some more pig love over here. I need some food, so I just got some pigs. They were the nearest thing. Um, I don't really need any other animals, honestly. Aha! First diamonds. There we go. Alright, we're on the path. 
to the stuff we need. Alright, found more diamonds over here, so we have enough. Hopefully we have enough for a pick and an enchanting table, because that's really that's really the two things we need. Um, but yeah, I've been mining in these caves. I found a really big cave system, which is nice. Uh, I never s seem to be able to do that in my uh, beta world. Oh, come on, just two? No. That means we're one short. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm never able to find, like, huge caves in my beta world <laughs> for some reason. I, th I think it's just bad luck. Like, I, I find caves that seem promising, and then it's just nothing. But yeah, so one thing that's interesting I've noticed, um, I'm pretty sure this is new. Yeah, this this has to be new. Is I think this is Void Fog, although Void Fog might be something different, but as you get closer to bedrock, uh, your render distance goes down and the fog gets gets higher. And you can see right now, um, my render distance is far. So it's not it's not that I have a set low, it just goes low when you're underground. And it looks, I think it looks really cool uh, when combined with the caves. It looks very kind of mysterious. I think it adds a lot to a uh, Minecraft sort of creepy atmosphere. Um, so yeah, some people might not like it. I've heard some people say like it's annoying because... Uh, I don't know, performance reasons or something. And also, if you're trying to build something deep underground, it kind of makes it annoying to build because you can't see that far. If you're trying to build something huge, but I don't do that, so it's not my problem. I actually like it. I actually like this, this the look of it. So I think that's another uh, good addition in this version. All right, well, that was a pretty... Uh, Pretty lucrative mining trip. Uh, pretty successful, I'd say. We have more than enough diamonds. Um, I did have to kind of cut it short because I'm about to die and I have no food. Or I'm about to start starving. That's the thing with this system. It kind of uh, limits you. I mean, you can't... You have to keep going back for food or stopping for food. And, um, I mean, you could argue that... You have to do the same thing in old versions. I mean, you have to bring food with you when you when you go on trips and you go mining. But uh, I would argue that it's actually more skill-based in older versions. Because you're only going to need that food if you're getting hurt, you know, if you're taking damage. Uh, in this version, you just lose hunger automatically, which, yeah, that's the kind of sucky part about hunger. Um... And I know in later versions they made it so that hunger goes down faster when you're healing and stuff, but I'm pretty sure in this version it has nothing to do with that. I think it just goes down from like regular activities as well. Uh, but I could be wrong, feel free to correct me. So, yeah. Wasn't a big deal though, because um, I have basically probably more than enough diamonds to actually just go and... Uh, beat the game, kill the ender dragon. It's not that tough in this version. Um, kind of just shoot the things. There's no cages around the crystals, so you can just snipe them all from the ground. And uh, yeah, the dragon doesn't have any really special attacks. Kind of just flies into you. So yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. The real struggle is going to be getting actually the, uh, the diamonds in the eyes. So that's going to be something I need to work on. But yeah, it's going to be exciting to uh, actually get to the stronghold because I've always liked that structure. I think it's a cool structure, so we can talk about that when I get there. But uh, for now, I guess I'll just smelt my stuff, get prepared. We also can make a diamond pick now, and in this version, well, in beta, that opens up the nether portal, which that also does for us. Um, but it also lets us, if we get two diamonds, and uh, we can uh, get the obsidian with our pick, we can also make the enchanting table. And uh, going to the nether is a little more significant too, because there's a little more stuff there, the nether fortresses. So, uh, actually I completely forgot about nether fortresses. 
I was remembering like blazes and stuff, but not even the fortresses themselves. So yeah, I'm actually going to have to find one of those. Wow, I haven't gone hunting for one of those in years, years and years. So that's going to be interesting. Hopefully it's not too hard. Okay, so I actually just finished making an enchanting table. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while for a lot of, for a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm not done with all the bookshelves yet. Uh, in this version, I'm pretty sure I remember you need 30 bookshelves instead of just 15. And also, the uh, the highest level I believe is is 50. I think it's it's 50 enchantments for the highest level instead of 30 and also it takes all of your levels instead of just taking like three uh you don't need lapis though in this version so yeah obviously it's a lot different um oh look at this yeah this was an old thing you could just keep putting it down and picking it up and they would change um but you didn't get like a preview like you didn't get to see like at least one of the enchantments so it's a lot more of a gamble, um, but yeah, it's it's interesting to see how different it was. Um, now this feature, good, bad, uh, I don't know how people really feel. I, I think maybe some people might feel that it that it doesn't really fit Minecraft. Like it's a bit it's a bit weird. I think just adding in this magic randomly, like you have this the uh, the experience suddenly, which is I think a bit odd for Minecraft. Uh, in the context of like beta and stuff and older versions and then you can just like put spells on your things i i think for some people it might have felt a bit modish but i actually kind of like this i mean i grew up with this and i don't really see any downsides to it i think it's just more like a late game thing and especially in this version in these early versions where it's really hard to enchant at max level um, and it takes a long time. I think it's just like one more thing to look forward to, you know, in the end game after you get like diamonds. Uh, and also what I like about enchantments, which is the same thing for potions, is that it just gives you something else to put in your house. Because in beta, it's kind of like, okay, I have my storage room and like there's not really anything else to put in my house except for like frivolous stuff or decorations. Uh, but yeah, here you actually can have like a dedicated enchantment room and a potions room. So I kind of like that. It has more stuff. Gives you more stuff to put in your base. Okay, let's actually try this out because uh, I only have 10 levels. Now, I know I said you need 50 levels. Let's try to get a 10 here. I know I said you need 50 levels uh, and it takes all your levels, which is pretty insane. But, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think... In this version, you actually get levels faster. Because I remember when they changed the system to take 30 levels. I remember I, I had an old an older world where I had like 70 levels. And I didn't even play that hardcore. I was just like casually like playing on and off. But I managed to get up to 70 levels just from like casually playing. So I think you got levels faster back then. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, Unbreaking one. <laughs> wow. What a great enchantment. But you know what? You know what? It's it's better than just a normal pick. I'm going to be grateful. I'm going to choose to be to be grateful here and not be bitter. But uh yeah, that's that's the enchanting system, the new enchanting system that was added in the the adventure update. Um yeah, I don't see anything wrong with this. I think I don't know. You can tell me uh you can tell me in the comments uh, what you think about it if you think it it was a bad addition. Uh, I do genuinely read like 90, probably 99% of comments that I get on my videos. So don't be afraid to, to drop one. Look at this. Here's a, uh, a taiga biome. Um, but in this version, I believe this is a bug. Uh, taigas do not generate with snow ever. I think maybe they were supposed to, like, half the time have snow, half the time not. But no, uh, they just never have snow in this version. Uh, which is, I think, the opposite of beta. I think in beta they always have snow, but I could be wrong about that. 
But yeah, this is very also, I feel like this is very, uh, the color of the grass, this kind of bluish green grass and the trees is very reminiscent of this version in particular. Looks like a big desert over here. It's kind of cool. Wow. Looks kind of cool, at least from here. Interesting. This tiny strip of swamp going through here. Like I was saying, the biomes get kind of funky. Oh, look at that. All right. I've been exploring around. I've been looking for one of these. Uh, Cause you know, I figure I got, I got to show off all the features of the version. Definitely got to show off a village. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go take a look. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is one of those, one of the old villages before they were updated a while ago. Does anyone get nostalgic? Cause I'm getting a little, a little bit nostalgic here. This is very much my childhood hitting me right here. I used to love finding villages. Um, I freaking hate them now. <laughs> get out of my way. No, I, I don't I don't really hate villages or even like the idea of villages. Uh, I just hate villagers. <laughs> like, why? Why? Out of all the design choices, I mean, first of all, I think it's... I think it does kind of ruin the... Holy shiz, that is a huge cave. Uh, anyways. <laughs> I think it does kind of ruin some of the... Minecraft has, like, you know, that lonely atmosphere. And some of the structures, I don't think, ruin that at all. If anything, they add to it, like, you know, abandoned mine shafts. It's, like, weird and mysterious. Like, who the hell built this? Why is it abandoned? Um... But this, it's like, here's a village with ugly people. Who the hell designed these? Because they don't fit Minecraft at all. Like, there's no... How do these fit in? Yeah, at least pigmen. They were going to do pigmen at first, but at least pigmen, like, sort of... They, they fit because there's pigs in the game and there were zombie pigmen. So, you know, you have normal pigmen. So at least those are kind of thematically fitting. But these are just like out of totally out of left field and just just nothing. Just like these weird, ugly guys that just ruin the atmosphere of the game. It's bizarre. It's really bizarre. And I, I don't like it right now. I, I am not a fan of villagers now that I've, I've gotten used to beta. But uh, yeah, th this is a feature that, that kind of gets a thumbs down. But hey, I got a librarian uh, hall. So uh, I got some books that'll help with my enchanting table. And uh, I get to steal some wheat. Doesn't look like there's a blacksmith here. Um, but actually, that wouldn't make really a difference because I actually found this out uh, a little while ago, which surprised me. Because I always remember blacksmith uh, blacksmiths having chests in them but they didn't have chests until the next version in 1.0 they they don't have chests in them so that's kind of, that was kind of surprising because i remember as a kid always being excited to find a blacksmith and, and get the loot in the chest but i guess uh yeah i guess that wasn't until the next version so that was kind of a interesting little detail the little things you kind of forget uh, about after you know over 10 years i kind of like uh actually notches village designs uh back when you know he he put up those like concept villages i don't know what you call them oh is this another library that i missed i guess it is but yeah in those images they're like these weird mossy things uh that are kind of uh kind of eerie and i i think they fit with everything else they fit with like abandoned mine shafts and stuff but um I don't know. Instead, they went with this, which of course became iconic, but it's it's weird. I think it would have been cool if it was just abandoned villages. So you're just kind of like, you know, the same idea of like, once in a while you stumble upon them, and you're just thinking, what the hell built this thing? I think that's kind of a cool idea, <laughs> honestly. So yeah, one of my lesser liked uh, features in this version. 
they also just the villagers don't have any purpose by the way uh you can't trade with them until like what three more versions at least like two or three more versions maybe even four so yeah they're just kind of there they literally do nothing they don't even have sounds and you know they don't have iron golems to defend them and when you attack them so this is kind of <laughs> odd and sad as I'm just listening to dry hands and slaughtering this village. This is a weird experience. <laughs> this whole video is a weird experience because it's like I feel like I'm like a YouTuber from 10 years ago who's like reviewing the new features in the adventure update even though they've been in the game for like over a decade. So uh, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of bit kind of odd. All right, I'm about to start the next phase of my journey. I'm gonna go to the nether. I just made this portal room down in my mines. Uh, normally I try, like nowadays, I try to make everything look good. But for this, for this, I'm kind of just playing like how I used to play. In honor in honor of the version, I'm just sort of making, making practical crap without making it look good. But uh, yeah, I do want to kind of, you know, go through the whole game all the way up to the Ender Dragon because that's really the only way to show off everything that's new here and, you know, go through it all, comment on it all. So here we go into the new nether. Although I don't think it's that new. Um, if I were to guess, I would say, oh my god, we're really close to bedrock. I guess since we made the portal low, it, it spawned us low down. That's interesting. Look at this. <laughs> I've never really seen something like this before. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, I don't think the nether's changed much in this version. Uh, it seems, if I recall correctly, I mean, it seems probably about the same as how it is in beta. Uh, it's just, we have, the, of course, the new structure, the nether fortress, and I think magma slimes, uh, magma cubes, maybe? Uh, I think they were added in this version. If not this version, then maybe like the next one, but yeah. So the nether should be roughly the same. We just, oh my god. That just starts spreading out of nowhere. Holy moly. Dangerous. Lava is very dangerous in the nether. But yeah. So we have to find another fortress, which I haven't done in ages. I haven't actually gone searching for a fortress in years. It's insane. So yeah, I'll probably try to mine up to find the... Uh, the big open areas, and then uh, we'll see if we can find a fortress. Okay, here we go. Hopefully. Almost ran into some lava there. That was pretty scary. Oh, it's cast over there. I have like 12 arrows. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> this is going bad already. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. If I die, oh my god. <laughs> that was so close. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be careful. <laughs> I almost forgot. Oh man. You know what? Let's just plug this up. Come on. Fuck you! Oh god. Okay, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just avoid this for now. What the hell? Come on. Let me just live my life. Look at that. Oh! That's one. That's close. That's really close. Let's see if we can get over there. Yeah. So yeah, this version, we of course have the nether fortresses for the first time. Um, there's some soul sand right here. Speaking of soul sand, we also have the nether wart, uh, which I 
I don't know. Does it grow naturally? I think it just grows in the nether fortresses, honestly. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think that... I think you can only find it in nether fortresses. But anyways... So we have that. We have uh, the blaze. Oh! Okay. Gotta make this quick. Oh boy. I am living on the edge. This... We're fine, 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 we're fine. We're fine. Okay. We're fine. I should make the I should have made this out of cobblestone, I don't know what I was thinking. I should make this out of cobblestone. Anyways, here we are, another fortress. That was pretty easy. Uh only a little bit dangerous. Looks like we got some hallways here. Some of the, like, I don't know what you call these top uh, things. <laughs> that was really descriptive. All right, sometimes these things are a maze, so let's see if we can find our way around. All we really need, well, we'll need another wart room. I guess we don't need one, but, you know, obviously I want to show off potions because that's a big thing added. And then we also need a blaze spawner. Um, honestly, if I can just get nether war and then a few blaze rods, that would be best. Because that way I can just make, uh, some fire, fire, uh, about to say fire breathing, fire resistance potions. And that way that I can just kill blazes really, really easily. Um, we'll talk about potions when we get there. Uh, I have a couple couple thoughts on those as well, like anything. Uh, it's pigmen. Oh, that scared me. This is. Let's see. Um. Man, it's like actually kind of dark in here. Oh, this is. That is just a stairway down. So yeah. Oh, look at this. Magma cube. Hey, these guys are cute. I like them. They add a little bit of life to the nether. Nothing wrong with them. Oh, I didn't get any magma cream. That would have helped with the potions. Ah, but yeah. This might take me a while. Wow, another stairway down. It's over here. Stairway up. Oof. Things kind of crazy. All right. Nothing there. Mushrooms. Not another wart. Oh, there's one. Okay, let's do... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's do that for now. There are two. There are two right next to each other. This is good. Okay. It's easy. No rods. Come on. Maybe I should get some torches. Oh man. No, back off. Okay, one, one down. I'm gonna need one for the uh, brewing stand and then another one for uh, making some magma potions. But yeah, blazes. Um, interesting new mob. Really kind of. Uh, Pretty complicated. I mean, they have like a head and then they have like spinning rings and the fire effect. Pretty interesting, and I like the way they fight. Uh, I mean, I don't like getting burned, but uh, I think they're an interesting mob because you kind of have to. The new way to fight, it's not just zombies where you can just mindlessly whack them. Oh my god, give me your rod. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, okay, so I have two. That's actually just enough. Um, I will need slime later, but that's fine. So, I guess we should go make some potions right now. So I can kill one more. Just get an extra one. I will need a bunch later, obviously, for the ender eyes. But, uh, yeah. Blaze is kind of cool. And, uh, it's interesting how they sort of indirectly integrate with the potions. Because you can make, uh, the potion of fire resistance and then just, you know... 
Uh, holy crap. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a bad situation. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the nether is dangerous. Uh, it is not, not exactly a safe place. But hey, look at this. Finding a shortcut. You gotta find the positives in life. Okay, I'm actually right back at the nether fortress because I totally forgot uh, that I need netherrack. That is definitely a thing I need for potions. So we're back here. I'm going to keep exploring. And uh, I actually never said what I think about uh, nether fortresses. I It's kind of just another thing that I don't really mind. I mean, I'm going to be honest. The, the nether in beta is a little bit empty. I mean, there is there is stuff there. Uh, and there is a reason, like, you know, to go in there, you could get lava, you could get pork chops from the guys, you could get glowstone, netherrack, but I mean, that's, it's really it, it's just like kind of an extra place to gather resources, and it's kind of scary and dangerous. But, uh, yeah, I think this update added a good amount to the nether, it was a little bit more interesting, a little bit more stuff uh, to do, and more reasons to come back here over and over. So I don't mind nether fortresses. I could uh, see how some people think maybe the game's starting to get a little cluttered. Uh, the lonely feeling is is disappearing because there's too many structures. Thought about that, and uh, yeah, it personally I don't feel that, but um, I could see someone making an argument for it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Hey, here we go. Jeez, it's so dark in the nether. You know what? Here's another new feature. You can turn the brightness up. I should have done that a while ago. Uh, but yeah, that's a new feature, of course, that we have here. And of course, turn the brightness up. We can only turn it up. Um, wait, what am I thinking? Of course we can only turn it up. It starts at moody. <laughs> What I was uh, what I was really thinking is the FOV. So the FOV starts at normal, uh, and you can't really turn it down. You can turn it up, but you can't really turn it down. That's what I was thinking of. But yeah, obviously the lighting <laughs> it starts at moody, so you can only that's the lowest level, so you can only turn it up from there. Uh, forgive my foolishness. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I like that. That was kind of cool. This this sort of walkway to this crazy view of the whole place. I do like how nether fortresses kind of add like a bit of mystery. This goes for a lot of the structures and new features. Except for like villages, which are kind of just weird and lame. <laughs> um, I like how a lot of these new additions add a bit of mystery. Um, some people may disagree. Some people think they think that again it takes away from the loneliness. I actually kind of like it because it's like you're given you're given the player a little taste of something but you don't you don't tell them exactly what what's going on. And maybe this is thinking a little too hard because you know mostly it's probably just structures that Notch thought would look cool in Minecraft, but I think of it as like, you know, the Nether fortresses. Uh things like abandoned mine shafts, uh, strongholds. It's like who built these? You know, it adds that that air of mystery. And I, I really like that. I really loved exploring those structures uh, as a kid. It makes me think of, you know, there's there's something more out there, but you never you never really see what it is. You're just kind of left to your own imagination. Okay, let's see if I can actually remember how to make all this stuff. Okay, yep, that one's pretty simple. So... Figure right on top of these bookshelves. Let's just imagine they're like alchemist books and potion recipes. Uh, we can put our brewing stand right up here. And we need glass for bottles. Pretty sure that's just glass in like a bowl shape. Yep. And ooh, we need water. Now, you fill these up with water. Okay. I'll go over here. <laughs> you fill up the bottles with water, obviously, and then brew the potions. 
Now, can you fill them up from source blocks in this version? You can. Okay, my next question is, why is the cauldron in the game? You can fill up water bottles from the cauldron, of course, but you can do that from a source block. So, why is the cauldron in the game? <laughs> it feels it feels like a pointless leftover. And actually, I think it would have been cool if the cauldron just replaced the brewing stand, because that's that just makes more sense, right? You brew potions in a cauldron like a witch. A, a brewing stand, like, what is a brewing stand? What does that even mean, you know? So, I don't know. I feel like cauldron makes a lot more sense. It's just more part of the... Uh, it's it's more part of, like, the, the witch and the, like, potion culture. It's already there. Um, I'm not sure what the thought process behind replacing it was. But, yeah, now it's just sort of in the game as a pointless thing. And uh, potions are kind of uh, cool. Honestly, I, I sort of just feel the same way about potions as I do with the uh, the enchanting system. I guess some people might think it's a little modish, like it comes off as a mod. It's a bit strange after playing like older versions. I can see how some people would see that. Um, but honestly, I think the potions are like they come off as less, less modish as the enchanting system. I don't know why, but I feel like the potions just kind of fit Minecraft really well. Even like even like beta Minecraft, I can see these being in beta. So yeah, I, I don't mind potions. Funnily enough, I never really made them that much. But uh, another thing is, and forgive me, I don't have any slime. So maybe we can just make like speed potions because they're always kind of fun. Let's see, is this right? I think it's sugar. But yeah, as far as like potions and enchanting go, it's kind of the same thing I was talking about with like, it, it adds that little bit of like mysticalness, little bit of mystery um, and wonder. Because it's like you have these potions, and especially enchanting tables. Because you look at the enchanting table, and it's like... Oh, by the way, I enchanted my, my chest piece just because I could. So, uh, yeah, I got protection on that. But you look at the enchanting table, and it's like this weird writing. Um, I guess it's from like another game or something. I'm actually not sure. I don't remember. But, um, oh, I have two iron swords. That's weird. But, yeah, um... It has this weird writing and and you have to make these bookshelves and like the writing is going into the enchantment table it's a really cool design it's very complex kind of like the blazes it's very complex for minecraft it has like this book on top that follows you and flips the pages it's really interesting but yeah it's kind of just weird and uh, it always used to make make me you know feel like wonder and and just like this mystery as a kid, you know, like what the heck is this? You kind of get a taste of this magic, like you can use this magic and you're getting a taste of it. You're like, what exactly is this? And where did it come from? So it's it's a bit like the, uh, you know, abandoned mine shops, for example, or strongholds. Like who, who did this? Who made this? So I actually think that's kind of fun. Some people might disagree. I like it. Um, potion of speed. Yay! And also, of course, potions are just fun. So for that reason, I also like them. So yeah, these are another feature that I really don't mind. Uh, I think they add a little bit to the game. Again, it lets you, like, build more rooms in your base. Because you can add, like, a potion room. You could add two, potentially. You could add, like, the potion brewing room and then also, like, a potion ingredient farm. Where you have, like, I don't know, sugar cane, nether wart, uh, melons. Oh, melons. <laughs> I might not be able to find some melons because they're kind of rare in this version. You don't have jungles. So uh, you just kind of have to find them in mineshaft chests. And I haven't even found a mineshaft yet, so that's going to be interesting. Oh, look at this. The the like status icon actually pushes your your inventory like all the way over. That's kind of annoying i wonder when they changed that because i'm pretty sure it does not do that in modern versions just started raining and i have to say there is something quite cozy about this version there, there's something very cozy about sitting in this house uh not that uh the older versions aren't cozy 
but I think the warm lighting kind of helps a little and yeah I don't really know how to explain it feels good feels good All right, so I made some uh, potions of fire resistance, and I went back to the nether, and I just killed a bunch of blazes. Pretty easy to do that once you have that. Um, so yeah, I got more than enough uh, blaze rods and powder now. You only need like 12 minimum to uh, get to the end, but I mean, you might lose some on the way, and you know, there's... I like to have wiggle room. But yeah, I have some uh, some pearls and eyes already here. And what I actually like to do... Oh, this is bugging me. Look at this. The pearl is actually like... Like the pearl sprite is actually like higher than the, the eye. Do you see that? Like they're not centered the same way. Okay, that bugs me. Anyways. <laughs> um, what I actually like to do is just get a few um, eyes first. And then just use those to find the stronghold. Not even to just activate the portal. But just to find it at first. And that way, um, you can go there and actually see how many eyes you're going to need. So you don't waste time like getting more pearls than you actually need. Because it's kind of a pain to uh, to to get pearls. Uh, the drop rate's kind of crappy. <laughs> and endermen are like a pain to find. They, they, they don't spawn very frequently. Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to go actually find the stronghold right now. So we're getting near the end here. And let's go ahead and see. Okay, it's that way. Will it break? No, it didn't break. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, let me... What I'm going to do is just leave probably like a trail of pillars. So uh, we won't have to use eyes again to get there the second time. We can just follow the pillars there and back. So should be fine. Yay. It's leading me over this direction. Uh, I just came from all the way over there. So we may, this may be ocean. We may actually need to use a, one of the crappy boats and cross an ocean. So hopefully it won't be too far. It might be underwater, which I've seen happen before. That, that could be kind of cool, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So let's go avoid the skeleton and the lily pads. Dear God, these boats are so bad. They get broken on lily pads. It sucks. Oh, hold on. Looks like there's more land over there. Okay, okay. Really don't know why boats don't just drop themselves. Uh, I mean, they eventually added it, but it's like, why didn't you just add that initially? It's so weird. Oh, okay, we've changed directions a little. I think we might be getting closer. I haven't lost a, a, an eye yet. I'm starting to wonder if that feature is actually in this version. Maybe eyes just don't break in this version. Huh? Oh, it went down. Okay, okay. Yep, we're here. We are here. Oh, man. Alright, this might be kind of hard. Uh... Sometimes you gotta dig around a little to find it. I wonder if this cave can help us. Maybe? Ooh, looks like it goes straight down here. Oh yeah, this might be this might be something. Let's explore around here for a second. This could be promising. Oh no way! Actually abandoned mine shaft here. Wow, okay, yeah, I've been looking for one of these. Well, there we go. Perfect. Um, oh boy. It sounds like poison spiders are somewhere around here. Um, 
but yeah abandoned mine shafts uh, i think they're great honestly just another addition i i just really like i like caving and i think they add uh you know just another fun thing to find they're kind of labyrinthian which is i actually think kind of kind of fun to explore um oh boy i'm gonna try to avoid that they're uh yeah i think they're cool like i was saying before they're kind of mysterious like i don't know there's just something about finding this and it's like who the hell built this it's cool i think it's really cool i guess some people don't like them because it's uh they think it's too big but i don't know i i don't really feel that way at all uh i mean if you if you want to stop exploring it you can just stop at any time right like you don't have to keep going and get lost but yeah that's just what i think Let's actually destroy the spiders over here. They spawn chests. Uh, oh, here we go. Poison spider. New mob. They're slightly smaller, I think. Yeah, they are. They definitely are. The normal spiders. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. <laughs> um, ooh getting really big over here yeah the caves intersecting with it oh chests yeah hell yeah no um no melon seeds that's the big thing you want from these melon seeds oh yeah hell yeah okay let's get out of here <laughs> let's get the safety oh another chest nice don't need pumpkin seeds. Oh man. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, so this has been a little <laughs> sidetrack. Uh, we came here to find a stronghold and we found this instead. Uh, but it should be, the stronghold should be nearby here. What the hell? Did you get shot by an arrow? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Let's get down. Let's go here. Yeah, sometimes strongholds are kind of hard to find. I remember that much. Might have to dig around for a little while. Um, oh, I can't actually eat. I'm not low on health. Or hunger. Yeah, yeah. Okay, nothing here. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, great. First case scenario, I may have to go... Man, this is a crazy cave system. This is insane. This is cool. I really like this. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Surprised we haven't found, like, an intersection yet with the stronghold. I think it's over in this direction. There's water there. Man, this is a huge cave system. It's like sprawling. This is insane. It's really cool. Very, very cool. See, this is why I love this parts of this version. Like I said, the caving is just really interesting sometimes. And a little annoying too. Wow, this is cool though. But I think I think we're getting a little sidetracked. I think I'm getting further from the stronghold actually. Oh, Enderman, perfect. Another Ender Pearl. Might as well. Honestly, just need to kill them whenever you have a chance, because they do not spawn very frequently. Those diamonds? No, it's not. Oh, is that diamonds over there? No, it wasn't. Okay. I keep getting tricked. I keep thinking I'm seeing them. Oh my gosh, so many skeletons. Annoying. Let's... 
Let's uh, let's find a big spot and throw a pearl. It's this way. That's oh, that way. Okay. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start making our way over. Oh, you hear that? Oh man, that means we're near the portal room actually, because I think that's the only place they spawn. Here we go. Uh, huh. Yes, oh wow, all right. We dug right into the portal room. Nice, look at this. All right, gotta deal with these guys now. Yeah, get out of here. Little pipsqueaks. Let's just go ahead and break this. All right. No, don't. Okay. <laughs> all right, here we are. And oh, wow. No, no eyes at all. Did they add that in later? Where like it can spawn with some eyes in it already? I'm not sure, but yeah, that kind of sucks. But oh, well, not a big deal. We'll just have to get six more uh, eyes. But uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> in the new stronghold um i once again i just kind of love this structure I, I think it's really cool it's mysterious uh it, it reminds me of i don't know just like old fantasy stuff that i was into as a kid so it always it always made me feel just kind of cool as a kid to find these i think they're really awesome to explore around To be honest, uh, I miss this kind of stuff in... Oh, wow. Are they actually... They can be in any part of the stronghold, huh? I actually kind of miss this kind of stuff in beta. I think these kind of structures really fit Minecraft perfectly. Um, again, it's not like a village where it just has, like... It kind of ruins the lonely atmosphere. I think this almost enhances it because it... Uh, you know, it's it's since it's abandoned, um, it doesn't you know make you feel like oh wow look at that it doesn't make you doesn't ruin the loneliness atmosphere. I'm really looking for a library right now. I think that'd be really cool to find one. I always love libraries. I think they're so cool. It's like I don't know. It's just it's just one of those things. Like <laughs> that wasn't very descriptive, but yeah, I like it. Oh, nice. Here we go. Yeah, these things are super labyrinthian, these places. Um, but yeah, this is always a cool room. There's not really much point to it, but I think they're kind of sweet for some reason. Hey, chest over there. Forgot about that. Oh, and cobwebs too. Cobwebs uh, were in the game, technically, but like unobtainable. So it's kind of pointless. I don't know why I need a book. I've always loved like dilapidated, like ruined stuff. I think that's so cool. Like one of my favorite games is Shadow of the Colossus. And that's basically the whole game. It's just like an ancient land filled with all this dilapidated uh, ruins. Oh, we got some boots. And I just love that sort of stuff. That's probably the main reason I like these. They're just really interesting. And it makes you think of, like, the history of it. Ooh, apples. Nice. I think this is probably the only, like, legit way to get apples in this version. Let's let's go ahead and take the pick. It's more worth it than rotten flesh. Okay, so really the only thing left to do is I'm going to travel back to my house and just get the last... Uh, eyes that we need we actually have two already so that means we only need four uh, so we're really close to the end now uh, literally the end <laughs> i have just got enough eyes of ender we needed six more and i just got enough i just got exactly six more and i've been uh, preparing for the fight a little i made a bunch of health potions um not sure how much i'll need those but I kind of just did it because I can. 
Uh, I've been growing those melons over here. And uh, you can use the melons, of course, to get glistening melons. Glistening melons only take one gold nugget in this version, so that's kind of that's kind of nice. A lot of bang for your buck. But yeah, I made some of those. Uh, got some chicken. I got hopefully enough arrows. Um, you can use a sword if you have to against the dragon, but probably this will be enough-ish. Um, and then, yeah, I, I got a pumpkin just in case I want to wear that to like ward off Enderman, but it's kind of hard to fight with a pumpkin on your head. But yeah, other than that, I'm just going to head over right now and uh, I'll probably sleep first after the sun goes down. Then we'll head over and actually finish the game, <laughs> which you can do in this version. You can beat Minecraft. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Okay. And... Ooh, look at that effect. That is so cool. I, I wonder how... I guess it's just like, what do you call that, parallax? I guess it's just like that, but... I don't know, it, it looks really cool. Um, There's no sound effect in this version, though. It kind of just happens. So yeah, I guess uh, I'll just jump in and do this. Like I said before, Dragon's not too hard in this version. But I'm still going to be very careful, because... If I die in there, I'm going to lose all of this stuff, which is going to suck really bad. Uh, but let's let's just go ahead and, and do it. Oh boy. Hopefully the platform isn't in too dangerous a spot. Okay, we're on the ground. That's a little safer than like being off a ledge, at least. Oh, it's going to start attacking immediately though, so we got to get up. Thank goodness. I thought I almost looked at an Enderman. No! Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm like... Oh, man. Okay. Oh, wow. I actually got it. I was not expecting to get that. Uh, come on. A little lower, maybe? Am I too high? I should have brought more arrows, huh? <laughs> oh, boy. Fuck off. We're not ready yet. Um, let's get this one. Wow, my aim is off. Oh, fuck you. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, my armor's really good, so that's helpful. Come on. Maybe? Hmm. This is interesting. The The towers don't spawn in like a big ring. They just kind of spawn wherever they want. Um, that's interesting. I wonder when that changed. This one should be easy. Yep. Okay. Oh, shit. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. There's one more, I think. I have to keep my eyes peeled for any more, but I think this is it. Let's get it. Get it from here. It's a tall one. Oh, boy. Go away. Oh, man. I may have to climb. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. <gasps> Go away. Oh. <laughs> he knocked me off there. I very well could have flown into the void. That was bad. Okay, that's the last one. Oh, that's scary. That's so scary. That's actually kind of scary. All right, but uh, 
I may have to use, I have nine arrows, I may have to just use sword, basically, but so far, oh. oh. You know, now that I'm actually looking at it and thinking about it, it's a really crazy mob. Like, even today, there's not, there hasn't been added, oh, there goes my arrows. There hasn't been added anything that's really like this. I mean, most mobs are just like square, right? And just kind of move very rigid. And they're getting a little more fluid, but this is, this thing is insane. It literally moves like a snake, like it moves, its movement is completely fluid, right? Um, it's also a little retarded, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it just moves in a weird, like, it moves like a dragon, which is kind of weird and uncanny for Minecraft. Now that I think about it, I, I was just used to it because I grew up with this, but it is a bit weird when you think about it. Jesus, this is going to take a while. Uh, yay! <laughs> that was really anticlimactic. I mean, like, that was real. <laughs> that was very tedious and boring. I just I ended up just stop recording uh, at some point because it was so it was just like nothing. Um, ho, ho 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 ho! See, I remember earlier when I was talking about how it's easy to get it's easier to get XP in this version. I think I might have been talking about after I killed the Ender Dragon <laughs> because that is a ton of XP. It's a ton of XP for later versions when you just like. You only need to use like a few for enchantment. Um, holy crap. Okay, well, 121 levels. Um, the egg is... I don't, I don't have a piston, so the egg is just... Yeah, I don't know. It can it can just be there. But yeah, that's... Yay! That's our anticlimactic end to release. Um, oh boy. We have the lovely little end poem here. I'm sure you have all seen it many times, so I am probably just going to not <laughs> watch it. And we're back. Ah, lovely, lovely. So yeah, the dragon fight is, uh, <laughs> they, they updated it, what is it now, like several years ago. And uh, they made it harder and a bit more interesting. And uh, I think that's good because that was really easy and just kind of tedious. So uh, I, I think that's that's a good change that they made more recently. Um, it's a bit weirdly implemented and like, why does Minecraft have an end in, in the beginning? I mean, not the dimension. Why does it have like a boss, an end boss, an ending screen? It's a bit, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of cheapens. <laughs> Like the experience of the game, it's it's a bit weird, in my opinion. And so with that, that basically concludes what I'm going to do for this video. Uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show off for this version, all the major changes and additions. And uh, the verdict is, it's not that bad. I think it's not as bad as some people think. But, you know, you can let me know uh, what you think about it. I, I suppose a lot of those little things like potions, enchantments, I don't know if people particularly hate those. Some people might because it's a bit like modish, but I think maybe more it's just sort of a, a, a case of like what they didn't add. In other words, it's taken the game in a direction that is just too too different and they're, they're doing additions that people didn't really ask for and they're not doing additions that people actually wanted and, and kind of... Uh, foresaw in the future of the game but um yeah most additions most changes i really don't mind like i've said i actually would not mind too much uh playing more of this version in the future it's kind of fun that being said uh, i will definitely not be uh making this the version for my main world <laughs> for my uh survival world with the the castle town uh because one, because, you know, just bait is really fun, and I like playing in that version. And two, it, uh, I, I tried updating 
that world before to this version just to see what it would look like and it was it was really bad it was kind of just terrible <laughs> because the biomes changed and uh all that green beautiful like lush area around the castle became like this dull blue like taiga or, or extreme hills color and it looked really ugly and just drab and, and boring and awful so i'm definitely not going to be do that doing that uh that world will stay in beta forever um that is definitely like the main the main downside to this version is the the terrain and the aesthetic just is a real downgrade in my opinion real downgrade but with that all being said and uh, with the Sun setting right here uh, that concludes this video this little retrospective into the adventure update I hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think what your opinions are on this update what changes you like or you don't like uh, did it did it put the game in a bad direction do you think I'll uh Make some more videos. Planning on making some more uh, videos of my uh, my uh, main world. Until then, I'll see you later.